be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over some tips and tricks on how to manipulate samples using the Beat Breaker uh, plugin in Logic Pro 10.8. Let's jump right in. Now, first thing we're gonna do is start off um, with a quick sampler track, okay? So we're gonna go to the MIDI, Go to quick sampler, create, and then I'm going to just basically drag and drop a sample here uh, in here. So I haven't even really looked for the sample or anything. I'm just going to type in trap and we'll just find like a, a melody um, or some music is cool too. I don't even see melody over here. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to find Melody. I'll just probably click on Music. I don't know why Melody. All right, there you go. Melody. So we're going to click on that, and um, I'm just going to audition some of these and just see what we want to, like, use. Cool. So we'll just use this one for demonstration purposes. And so we'll just go ahead and turn the tempo down some. Take it down. Oh, yeah, maybe right there. All right. So I'm going to lay this down real quick. So we got this pattern laid down or the melody laid down or loop, my bad, lay down here. And now what I'm going to do, we'll play around with maybe like taking it down a couple notches, like semitones. I'm going to hold down option, push to up or down to take it down some. All right, bet. So we got this uh, in here. So now let's go ahead and get into adding the beat breaker on here. So we'll go to audio effects and scroll down till you see multi effects and we'll go to beat breaker stereo. So this is beat breaker. First thing you're gonna notice is that there's something going over and over and over here. If you look right here, it says length. You can do it for like basically four measures or all the way up to 16, I'll go to eight. All right, and basically when I go ahead and push play, I can pretty much play with the time, repeat, with volume. So, so I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and let it go, and then I'll just show you, by demonstration purposes, what we can do. So pretty much just kind of placing this at the right place, you can pretty much get a whole different vibe on that sample. Um, so I can also come over here and affect the curve, the speed. Like if I just nudge this just a little bit like that, maybe the speed like lower here, it's gonna give a whole different vibe. Let's see. So you can do a little different things like that. You can also use like the repeat. Come back 
to this time here. And basically, you have to make sure you click on whatever because it's not going to do it if you don't. So basically, like pulling the speed down just a little bit and the curve up just a little bit kind of gives you more of like a tape stop effect. You can also do some cool stuff like with the volume. You can also, like I said, put some little stuff <clears throat> messing around with these knobs on other ones too. So, like, I can come over here, bring that down, curve up. Well, let's let's actually put that um, over here. Basically, I hold down Option and clicked on that to erase everything. But pretty much after you do that, you can turn this off <clears throat> and come over here and then just like right click it, bounce it in place, and you can get pretty much a new sample that's not even like the old one. You can still push option up or down, move it up or down, semitones. Say if you don't like any certain things, like for instance, like I can come back to this, I can uh, click on that. Like say if I don't like what I just did here with all this repeating stuff, I could just click on it, hold down on option. It's gonna take it back to its normal thing. So like for instance, on even time, hold down option. Now it's back to normal. Do the Volume saying. So then I can bounce into place again. And now we have two different versions one that has this crazy drop and one that doesn't. So, y'all, that's pretty much going to be today's video. appreciate y'all watching. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you head over to my website, BeatMakingBasics.com. Also, check out that Beat Making Master Bundle. It's going to be the best way for you to really grow as a producer in uh, 2024 and beyond, man. Look, grab that. It's, the link is in the description below. 
don't do anything else make sure you get subscribed to the channel we're out appreciate you watching